Now let's discuss some of the algorithms which are designed to solve the critical section problem involving two processes. That is, if there are two processes and if there is a chance for critical section problem between them, then how to solve it? For that, we know. Before executing each critical section code, the process should execute one piece of code called entry section and after completing the critical section, the process should execute one another piece of code called exit section. This is one such algorithm which is designed to solve the critical section problem for two processes. Here these entry section codes and the exit section codes should ensure that the critical section problem will never occur for these two processes. Here both the processes share a single global variable called turn and the turn can have only two values either 0 or 1. And if the value is 0, one of the processes, one of the two processes can enter the critical section. And if the value is 1, then the other process can enter the critical section. In this case, if the value is 1, then it is P1's process 1's turn and process 1 can enter the critical section. And if the value is 0, it is process 0's turn. P0 can enter the critical section. The code works like this. P0, after completing this reminder section, if it wishes to enter the critical section, then it will check the value of the global variable turn. And if the value of turn is not equal to 0, then P0 will keep on waiting in this while loop without entering the critical section. And at any time when value of turn becomes 0, P0 can enter the critical section. Now while P0 is executing in the critical section code, even if P1 wishes to enter the critical section, it will check the value of the turn variable and it finds that the value of turn variable is 0, it is not equal to 1. Hence P1 will keep on waiting in this while loop without entering the critical section. Hence only P0 will be inside the critical section now. Then P0 after completing the critical section code, it will in the exit section code, it will change the value of turn variable to 1. And P1 who is uh, keeping on checking the value of the turn variable will find that now the value of turn is 1. Hence it breaks the while loop and can enter the critical section. Now only P1 is inside the critical section. At the same time, if even if P0 wishes to enter the critical section, it finds that the value of turn variable is not equal to 0. Hence, it will not enter the critical section. It will keep on waiting in this while loop. And P1, if completed the critical section, in the exit section code, it will change the value of turn variable to 0 again giving the next chance to P0, then P0 can execute if it wishes to enter the critical section, then again P1, then again P0 and so on. Hence it works in an alternate manner. There is strict alternation between these two processes. This is how the algorithm works. In the last video we have seen that a solution to the critical section problem should satisfy some conditions. One is mutual exclusion, then progress and finally bounded weighting. Now let's check whether this algorithm guarantees or whether this algorithm satisfies all these three conditions or not. First of all, mutual exclusion. We know that the value of turn variable can be either 0 or 1. It can have only two values either 0 or 1 and depending on each value only one process can enter the critical section at any time. Hence the mutual exclusion is guaranteed by this algorithm. But what about the progress? There is strict alternation between the two processes. Then suppose if this condition occurs. Like both the processes, 
P0 and P1 wishes to enter the critical section at the same time and the turn variable is initialized to 0. It means the first chance is given to process 0. Thus P0 can enter the critical section now. And P1 will be waiting in its while loop. Then after P0 has completed the critical section code, in its exit section code, it will change the value of turn to 1. And P1 who keeps on checking the value of turn will find that the value is now 1. Hence, P1 can enter the critical section now. Hence, P1 will execute the critical section code. And after completion of the critical section code, in its exit section code, P1 will change the value of turn back to 0. It means the next turn is of process 0. It is P0's uh, turn to run next. But suppose P0 is very slow and hence it is still in its reminder section. It hasn't completed the reminder section code and thus the process 0 doesn't wish to enter the critical section code now. But P1 executes very fast and it completes all the reminder sections and it wishes to enter its critical section again. Is that possible? No. Since the value of turn is 0, next the process 0 should execute and the process 0 should change the value of turn to 1. Then only process 1 can execute. It means the critical section is free and one process is wishing to enter the critical section but the progress get blocked by a process who is in its reminder section. P0 is in its reminder section. It's not in the critical section or not even in the entry or exit code. Such a process is blocking the progress. Hence, progress is not guaranteed by this algorithm. Finally, what about bounded waiting? After one process turn, always the next chance is given to the other process. So if one process has made a request, then there is always a bound or a limit to its waiting time. Hence, the waiting time is bounded. Bounded waiting is guaranteed by this algorithm. But the problem is that whether the process, whether one process wishes to enter the critical section or not, always the next chance is given to it. The algorithm doesn't check whether the process is interested to enter the critical section or not and there is strict alternation between the two processes. As a result, the progress is not guaranteed by this algorithm but there is mutual exclusion and bounded waiting. But since progress is a mandatory condition, this algorithm cannot be considered as an optimal solution for the critical section problem involving two processes.